What's up guys, uh, welcome back to the next video in learning uh, JavaScript third video. Uh, my name is QD Azani and you guys watching my channel Core Alright, so if you haven't got if you guys haven't subscribed my channel, please do so. Uh, it's a way for you guys to showing some support and uh, for me encourages me you me for you guys to make uh, very very excellent and sophisticated uh, videos about JavaScript, about the Ajax and uh, about uh, jQuery and uh, PHP and any other web uh, development um, uh, languages. All right, so I'm going to show you guys uh, in depth and um, precise um, and accurate programming about the JavaScript. Uh, and uh, my next uh, series is going to be about the jQuery, and um, I'm going to be, and the next one is going to be about the uh, Ajax. All right, so. In this uh, video that we started about the JavaScript, we're going to go ahead and further explore the JavaScript. I'm going to show you guys the different ways, as I said to you guys, that the JavaScript lives inside the browser. It's inside the engine, so you guys don't need to do anything. You guys just need to open your uh, browser and you guys see here. And if you guys do the right click and inside, I'm here inside the Firefox, uh, you guys can uh, right, do right click and when you guys go and inspect, and if you guys looking here inspector and there is a console here so you guys can um, start writing your uh, javascript regardless if you guys got internet connection or you guys got no internet connection so this, there are different ways you guys can write your uh, javascript so it's this is the first way and this is the way that we're going to use the local host because we are going to turn off this one and uh, how are we gonna get off you guys gonna create this uh, local host and you're gonna create this is local host you guys need to download the zamp or web if you guys don't know web or zamp just go and look at our uh, tutorial on uh, how you guys gonna download the zamp and how you guys gonna download web in our html series all right so you come in here as i said you guys uh, don't need any special software to do this you guys just use your firefox which is almost in every browser and you guys use sublime text or notepad any other uh, text editor you guys like so this is a text editor and how we you guys gonna put your uh, application so you guys gonna go ahead on a c folder here so if you guys come in here in your c folder and you guys double click and you guys if you guys on uh, zamp you guys can use Zamp or Wimp, and you guys going to go in your HD Docs, and you guys looking at your HD Docs, you guys just create your folder about your JavaScript, or you guys go on Wimp, and you guys can create your folder in Wimp. So you guys can create your uh, folder at www in Wimp. So I'm gonna go on Wimp, Wimp 64, and I'm gonna come here at www, and you guys see my folder JavaScript. And there is a file first js all right so that's how you guys gonna create first js and we're gonna go ahead and slowly the bits and pieces and the first video this video is gonna be showing you guys where you guys guys gonna put your um, javascript code and if you guys come in here and i'm gonna briefly show you guys about the javascript about the html so i'm gonna put a html tag here because you guys uh, need to put your JavaScript there. All right, so nowadays you guys see here uh, uh, DHTML. So DHTML. Okay, so if you guys seen this term, and uh, I'm going to do correction from the last slide, I'll show you guys that ECMAScript 6, uh, sorry, ECMAScript, um, the last one was issued in 2016, and I'm and my video is going to be about the ECMAScript, uh, which was released in uh, ECMAScript 2020. So I'm going to show you guys the ECMAScript 2020, which were released in 2020. So I didn't mention in my slide, but I'm going to tell you guys now. So if you guys uh, seeing this term DHTML, DHTML, it means that uh, uh, DOM, DOM is... Uh, it's a way of Java. It's a little bit advanced topic, and I'm going to show you guys. I don't want to confuse you. It means that uh, DOM DHTML. So you guys seen this term HTML before? Hypertext uh, markup language, and you guys see a DOM document object model inside uh, Java. So don't be surprised if you guys seen this because that's the way of writing Java inside the HTML with the document object model and we're gonna go in that one shortly in a few videos and I'm just gonna show you guys in depth what it means and uh, how we're gonna do 
how we're going to implement the DOM inside the HTML. All right, so and then uh, inside the DOM, you guys see AJAX, and uh, AJAX it enables communication between client and server, so it enables communication between client and server. The best example, if you guys go on um, the Google, if you guys want to know AJAX, say if you guys go on Google and say if you guys want to type something, say if you guys see this is this, this AJAX. There is an AJAX and, and came here, so I want to say, for example, I want to search about uh, say Yahoo. For uh, if you guys look in here without me touching anything, the Yahoo jump in and Yahoo start doing the, uh, the search start coming. This is AJAX in, in action. So if you guys look in here, we did not refresh anything normally with the web programming. We refresh with the PHP, any other language, but with the DOM and AJAX, you guys do not need to refresh. So this is the way, say, if you guys come in and put a Yahoo, for example, if you guys come in and put a Microsoft, if you guys look in here, uh, it's Google gives you guys suggestion here, and this is comes in with the help of AJAX. So AJAX is the way the client and server uh, communicates without uh, touching anything. If you guys go to Google Maps, and Google Maps refreshes as you guys move along, and that's AJAX. The AJAX in action in Google Maps. So that's a, that's a way of, uh, I'm gonna show you guys in um, future uh, slides and uh, future videos, uh, about the AJAX, then we're gonna go on the AJAX. We we'll see what AJAX is and what is jQuery is, and how we're gonna do programming AJAX and jQuery. So it's very exciting, and I will again welcome you guys for this uh, uh, video series about uh, JavaScript. And um, if you guys don't understand anything, just leave a comment, and I'm gonna explain to you guys again. And I'm gonna close this, and I've already explained to you guys what AJAX is. All right, so there are different ways, as I said. So the one way is we guys gonna put in your inside your browser and you guys gonna see here. The next way is here. So if you guys look in your console and you guys can put your alert and you guys see in here alert. Say what you guys gonna put in alert. Welcome to Corio Wood. Okay, so welcome to Corio Wood and if you guys doing here and you guys see in your browser, it says welcome to Corio. There are a lot of uh, ways, and I'm going to show you guys. Alert is not the only way. You guys can do prompt. You guys can do any other way. You guys can do that like a log. Yeah, you guys can do any other way, but I'm going to show you guys slowly one by one. So this is one way. And if you guys look at here, and there are a few websites. If actually you guys can do it online. The first one I'm going to show you guys is a JS Bin. It's a way of you guys want if you guys wanna say do on the on the fly, say if you guys wanna practice your HTML, CSS, JavaScript, console, output. So if you guys put your alert here, you guys can put your alert and inside you guys can put a welcome to Coriwood. So you guys can do this as well. And if you guys gonna put your output and you guys gonna see welcome to Coriabot from JSBin, you guys see it's very easy. You guys can put here your uh, JS script and that's a uh, subject from another video. Then we're gonna go on the browser. And the second uh, website is uh, Plunker and Plunker is also the same. If you guys come here in this website and you guys look at here plunker.co and if you guys come here at the new, and you guys can open JS, Angular, React, Preact, and Angular JS. And I'm going to show you guys all of them one by one. Uh, what is Angular is, and uh, what is React is. And at the moment, because we are working with JavaScript, so we are going to open the JavaScript. Then we're going to see. All right, so this is the JavaScript. And if you guys look at here, that's inside the, our project lib. And that's this lives inside the plunker. It's not inside our uh, computer. So you guys can write your uh, your code. If you guys can put it here, alert. Welcome to Coriwood. So you guys can uh, put it here. 
All right, so you guys come here. You guys can uh, display your uh, alert, or you guys can uh, come in inside your index, and you guys can uh, say uh, welcome to Anchor, and you guys can put your uh, JavaScript anywhere here. So, for example, you guys can come here. You guys can put a script type. You guys can put your script. Script, and you guys. And it's going to be the type. It's going to be text JavaScript. Text slash JavaScript. You guys can do this. You guys can uh, do this by all means. You guys can run from uh, here. And you guys can include here. It's already included. Leave it style. Leave JavaScript. In, that's your script. That's inside your head. It's already uh, done that. But if you guys want this, you guys can do this. And you guys uh, say document dot write. This is another way. And you guys can say welcome to say uh, Korai or welcome to JavaScript. JavaScript. You guys can do this as well. And the last one, you guys come here and you guys see here the JS fiddle dot net js fiddle and this this guy here you guys can put your uh, html which i'm gonna copy from here uh, okay so this is just showing you guys how you guys do this and i try to put this one html and if you guys look in here you guys can type your code here or you guys can uh, put it here but I don't have these two libraries here so I'm gonna get rid of this here so you guys can uh, write your code and you guys can uh, put your uh, JS library here so you guys whatever you guys like our CSS here so if you want to put you guys you like your, your alert then you guys can put your welcome and you guys just run it and it's gonna run here and it's gonna show you guys inside the console here all right, so you guys uh, can do this. And if you guys look at here, I my code already run and my code is uh, working. Say if you guys can put a welcome to Korea Award or if you guys look at here, uh, welcome because this code is running again. You guys can run this code up to you, which, whichever you guys like, whichever way you guys like, but this is the way if you guys for from time to time we're gonna come in to all this uh, Planka, JS Bin, and JS Fiddle. We're gonna run our code and I'm gonna close them. So this is the way and this is the way here and the best way for us to learn because we're gonna turn off our uh, our uh, Wi-Fi, our internet, and we're gonna come here and that's how we're gonna run our code and our code is gonna be running from here. Say if you guys come in here and I'm going to show you guys why we're going to use sublime text so if you guys can put your script and if you guys look in here it's a lot easier for us to run then we go online and different websites so if you guys can uh, put your first one uh, document dot write and that's how you guys gonna learn uh, you welcome to my channel Korea Wood. Okay. That's how you guys write the JavaScript. There are different ways if you guys wanna put your JavaScript, but that's how you guys wanna put document dot right. welcome my channel Korea Wood. So we're gonna output this one and we're gonna go on our um, here in our uh, browser and if you guys look at here it says welcome to my channel Korea so we are uh, have successfully put our first uh, code our first uh, JavaScript code uh, to our uh, browser and welcome to my channel Korea you guys can put your name you guys can put anything but if you guys look in here that's our script running here and it's as I said to you guys uh, JavaScript is client side so the client can see the user can see your code where what's written here and what's outputting here so if any guy is coming here in your inspector you guys can actually see what I wrote here so that's how it is you guys can use this console as well as I said to you guys so you guys can put your alert and uh, you guys can actually type the same message here 
So you guys can uh, come here and put your alert. Okay, so I'm gonna put a welcome to my channel, Cryword. Okay, I'm gonna close this and you guys see here, welcome to my channel, Cryword. Okay, you guys uh, can do practice. This is the first video of uh, you guys can uh, actually do practical JavaScript. So uh, I'll let you guys do your practice uh, with uh, document.write and alert. So, so far we have seen document.write and we've seen alert uh, in console in different websites. So we've seen how we're gonna write. You guys don't need to do this sublime text. You guys can use uh, text plus atom, any other uh, ID or uh, whatever you guys wanna put your uh, code. So it doesn't have to be that sublime text, but I prefer to use sublime text because it's open source and it's used by all the programmers around the world for HTML, JavaScript, and PHP, and it's one of the best ones and it's have an autocomplete and it completes your code. All right, guys, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, if you guys got any question or comment, uh, leave it in the comment box. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.